You've both been great. I'm going to conclude, if I can, with a personal note. I want to pay tribute to this table of the Canadians who are in uniform. As you may know, I've written a lot about World War II, yes. and I always remind Americans, they were there before we were, and they took a terrible hit at the up, and they were landing on D-Day. And wherever I go in the combat zones of the world, I look for the Canadians. I know they're going to be friendly, and they're going to be protective, and I can find sanctuary. I was telling him. <laughs> On the other hand, you also look for the French just to get their rations, because they really have the best food. <laughs> but I did tell a story I want to share with, with you tonight. I met a naval commander here, and I said that I did a documentary on the USS Stennis, which is one of our great aircraft carriers in the Arabian Sea, when things were really heating up in Afghanistan. And I was helped and persuaded them to let me go up in an F-14 for an eight-hour mission out over Afghanistan, land back. And he said, now I want you to go and visit the ship of our best friends. A Canadian destroyer is leading the way for us. They, they really plot the line in the morning, and the Canadian destroyer was out there. So I went out to the Canadian destroyer, and I couldn't get the crew off there. They were having the best time of their lives. The problem was we couldn't use a lot of the footage because of the language <laughs> of the Canadian destroyer. So I just want to salute all of you for your extraordinary, extraordinary service. And you never, ever go out beating your chest. You're never looking for publicity. And we have to kind of bring it to you. And so that's the Canadian way. And it's part of the reason that I am so extraordinarily fond of this country. And I thank you all very much. And the ambassador of America.